Hello, it's Dave here from Megapoints Controllers. A few weeks ago, uh, I introduced this little optical infrared sensor to our system and said I would get back to you when I had uh, more to demonstrate. So what I thought I'd do now is hook them up onto my test track and let you see a little uh, hacked up demo running. This is an N-Gage layout. So if I pull back a little bit, you can get a feel for what's going on. So what I've done, I've made a little mimic panel here and inside I've wired up the LEDs to an LED switch expander. So I'll connect a multi-panel to this and we'll see it show the occupancy of blocks as the uh, locos run around this uh, this little uh, test track here. So um, let's put the thing together. On the track side I'm going to be installing these sensors. I will fit some under the track looking up and I'll put some alongside the track so you can get an idea of how it works. I have a feedback module here connected to the test port with some LEDs so you can see when I operate the circuit or put my hand in the way the LED comes on to indicate it's detected. You can also see the second LED here coming on to show. And on the mimic panel uh, I have the um, LED expansion board here and what I'm going to do is uh, wire up um, a multi-panel with a little extension cable going through so let's do that. So I have a multi-panel with a battery underneath I'll use that and what I want to do is to plug this into the feed the uh, network and then run this through so that it can ultimately attach to the feedback module. So uh, let's have a look. I've drilled a little hole in the back, clearly not big enough to get the plug through. So I'll just pop this connector off here. Hopefully I'm still on camera. And I can push these through. And this will be my network cable. I want the mail plug on the inside because I'm using this as an extension cable as well. There we go. Poke them through and pull. Stick the plug back on. It's just a regular servo plug. Straighten them out so they fall in their natural position and push them back in. And if you do it right you can pull these pins in and out many times without destroying them. Red in the centre, white and black on the outside. And this can connect to the network port here. So I've now got network going out of the box, like so. And what I'll do now with my LED expansion board, I'll connect the power to the multi-panel and this will go to the feedback bus output. This isn't a how to do it video. This is just one big hack to see how it works on this little test track. So if I squish the lid, I'm in and I should have a network here which I can connect. So let's find a cable. So I have the mimic panel here. <clears throat> I'll connect the network cable here and for test purposes let's just make sure we're in business I have the feedback module here connected to a power source and I'll connect the network so you can see here number one when I give it something to look at you can see the LED coming on so this is working and between the mimic panel and the feedback module a single network cable. So the basic system works, let's now think about how we're going to install this. Let's get this out of the way for now. He'll... Oh we can leave the power on. Get myself a little bit of working space. 
the joy of this is trying to get everything in and a camera so you can see what a pretty sight. Here's the sensor, you can see the unit working here. So let's get, um, let's fit this under here. So what I'm going to do here is, see how that's all vertical? Well, if you just bend them, bend the LEDs, it now sits up vertically. So if I lift this up, you can see all the different the various bits of power all joined together here. So this is basically all the wiring for all the different power feeds on here for testing other things. So somewhere near the top here, I'm going to just poke this in like so and hopefully that'll give me what I want. Try it with my hand. Yes, I can see the second light coming on and going off and off. So that's how I'm going to do those. Let's bring the feedback module and the mimic. So the mimic light is off. I have my small loco here. Let's give it a go. And you can see it's detected it on and off. It latches for one second when it detects. Oops. Give that another go. Now underneath, I have a little bit of white paper. I found it needs it, the black doesn't work too well. If I drop the wagon on, give it a push, and it's detected. Except I've wired it there instead of there, but that doesn't matter, it's a push away. In fact, if I take the feedback module, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So if I move this now to number ten. Yes, there we go. Now the correct one's illuminated. Plug and play, how easy is that? Right, let's hook the rest up. So I have a hole in the track here. I'm going to take this little detector and poke it in. I'm relying on the uh, interference of the hole to hold it in place, so I'm not gluing it. There we go. Push it in, and we're done. And let's bring the feedback module over so I can give it some power and test it. And that'll be number, that's 12. This one's going to be number 11. Two lights on. That one's backing off on the adjustment. I think this is one I was twiddling before, and that's just seems right. Or writer. Okay, so I can see this is now detecting. So that's too wide up. Okay, brilliant. So I'll continue in that vein around here and uh, come back when I've uh, struggled and wrestled with the other uh, other ten. Okay, here's the uh, final shot with everything working. I've installed the detectors. Come on, focus into the track where possible. So I've stuck a little hole and put the, you can see the emitter and receiver there. 
you can see it's on because the camera picks up the faint glow. Um, they're all working from under the track except this one which I put on some blue tack so you can see when I put my hand there it's detected. Let's try and get that in focus. And I've wired everything up to the Mimic panel mock-up here using the single network cable which is the Megapoints network. So if I operate my layout. Now this is analog detection but I am running DCC here. So as I move the loco forwards you should see number one or number 12 light up. Let's see what happens. So what I'll do I'll just remount the camera and you can see it working. So I think I have everything in shot now so let's run the loco. First detector is just in front of it. And there it is, detected, and now the second one. Number three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight, and nine. And now let's do the outer side. Underneath there's a white piece of paper under the chassis just to aid with detection. It does seem to work quite well given that I put almost no effort into making this work. Half an hour to get all 12 installed and maybe another 20 minutes on the uh, Mimic panel just to mock something up there. Don't really need to spend much more effort because this will all be ripped apart now and ready for the next next test but it's um, it's probably been running for an hour now without issue so I'm quite happy with it. What I did to adjust the um, the sensors, so in the case of these was, I adjusted the screw until the detector came on permanently and then just backed it off a little. So as I put my hand here now, we can easily find that. You can see here. Oh, I can see I've got these two wired the wrong way around. <laughs> Great. But uh, hopefully that gives you uh, a flavour for how the infrared analogue detectors work. There we go. Thanks for watching.